What's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man and today we got Horny Sister destroys his streaming career. Oh by my boy Measy. Who in I think AFP well helps the AFP but yeah. I seen this on Instagram so I had to I had to check this out. Mind you I seen this on Instagram a few days ago, but I could never find the actual video. And I I wasn't finna go on that nigga stream and try to find it. So I'm glad somebody got the store. But anyways, let, let's get to it. You dig? This is 100% proof that we don't take men's essay cases or any sort of cases like that seriously. And it should come with some sort of consequences. What's going on, everybody? Look, let's get into the me and potatoes of Ty Lil, Michael Rainey, and the essay situation. Ty Lil, very popular streamer. I actually know personally. Met him a couple times through AMP, through Kai Sinat, and is a good kid. But just like what happens on a lot of streamers that do IRL content and have a lot of people come into their platform and their channel, they don't have total control as to their actions. So the other night he had michael rainey star from power come on to his show and it was absolutely phenomenal energy absolutely phenomenal vibes <laughs> If this gets copywritten, I'm about to freestyle cause I'm really spitting. Now, Talil is a really creative guy, so I only anticipated nothing but creative content or whatever the case were to come out of his streaming, especially with the trailer that he released earlier this year when he announced that he was gonna start streaming in the first place. I knew that he was gonna do big things and because of the power, New York City connection and young poppin' dudes, of course it would make sense for them to hop onto the platforms together and rock out. Kaisenat has laid a perfect blueprint for having, you know, celebrities hop on people's streams and you know have a good time or whatever the case may be and this just seems like a natural fit you know like no other now Tyler's sister was already in the vicinity and she was saying some pretty crazy things doing some pretty crazy things being outrageous because that's the name of the streaming game there was one segment where she tried to make an inappropriate joke that honestly didn't come off as funny it was based out of sexual explicitness it, it, it was nasty my next girlfriend's gonna be Kylie Jenner clip that we got 54,000 views I'm doing anything for clout I'm trying to go viral just trying to see let me make you go viral you got a banana Oh Yeah, that's the name of the streaming game. She was disgusting. The sexualized content is no place, especially when they Ew. I mean, I know that that's your sister and all, but that's like at some point you gotta you gotta set boundaries because that's that shit's you know, I ain't gonna lie, that shit's weird. Most deaf. Most deaf strangers and i think i really want to hone in on that while some of these people in ty lil's stream are friends family etc etc and they're having a good time usually the celebrity in there has no sort of connection to them at all it's a way for you to get your name in places and spaces that you wouldn't normally you know exist in but with that being said i think that people don't understand the vibe that goes on or the connection that people have and usually when you have envelope pushers like ty lil can be and like some of them other people can be to be honest with you that's where things go a little awry and that's where his sister really just stepped over the fucking line here. Everybody in here has worked a job, has more than a million dollars. Y'all have never worked, have never did nothing. Y'all literally have five minutes of max in here. Yeah. They, no, they, they've never worked. You gotta think. They've never worked a job, but they go, follow with us. And then he looked. It was just out of nowhere. Like, what the f Shawty, is you... Something wrong with shawty ass, cause what the hell? Fucking weirdo, like... That's disgusting, that is so... Shut the fuck up! <laughs> and it's so honestly disgusting because this woman that he had no intention of being with, I'm damn sure so, no signs of being attracted to, came up, and I know you probably didn't see it because there were kids in the way, which is another point to talk about, literally grabbed his meat and tugged it and did whatever. Michael Rainey is clearly uncomfortable in this situation, laughing it off, because honestly, as a man in that situation, you don't know what to say, you don't know what to do. It's totally different, it's socially acceptable, it's downright disgusting. Disgusting. She honestly needs to have charges brought up against her and I know somebody might be thinking that I may be being a little bit too extreme But there is no way that you could justify what just happened Even when his man recognizes what's going on He tries to put his hand around him But at the end of the day all a man can do in that situation because of the way society has made things is laugh it off You know try to make it kind of a coy situation But I feel like he could have potentially said something But the other thing that makes it disgusting is he doesn't want to draw attention and seem awkward online And you never know what you're gonna do We've heard people talk about these things before with Terry 
Cruz talking about when he got assaulted at a party. There were so many people that gave these situations about how they would have fought a man or did this, that, and the third, but you never know what you're going to do. My own agent faulted me, and I went to the head of, of the motion picture department, and I was like, hey, man, they let him get away with it. I said, man, you can't molest the clients and come back to work. Ever. And then an added layer of that is the fact that there were kids involved in this situation. Kids shouldn't even be in this sort of environment, especially if these things are going to go on. But she decided because she was so disgusting with her behavior. I think that's the only word that I could really come to use. And she decided she wanted to do that in front of kids. That's absolutely nasty. Michael Rainey leaves shortly after that because clearly he's uncomfortable and I would have did the exact same thing. Now, I want to be very clear here. I'm not placing any blame on Ty Lil. He brought his sister in and she's in the content creator vibe, even though she doesn't know what she's doing. Doing. And I guess you can maybe hold some accountability for that, but he didn't know she was going to do that. It's clear that he was caught off guard. Hell, even in the clip, he didn't know what was going on at all. He was talking to the kids about a situation. I do want to read his apology or his statement after the situation. Ty Lil says, after the actions that occurred during my stream last night, I would like to sincerely apologize to Michael and his family for what took place. My little sister was completely wrong and out of line. What she did was very inappropriate and unacceptable and illegal. I am truly embarrassed and disgusted by our actions. I completely respect whatever direction Michael wants to go in this situation. After watching the clip, I was completely taken back by what she done. I will take extreme precautions with future streams to avoid similar issues and have banned her from participating in future streams. I do not condone any type of assault. I don't even think that there's anything to say because that is one of the best apologies, statements about actions that I've ever seen in my life. That is a thousand percent accountability or whatever part you may have or may have not taken in the actions that happened. There is a future course of action and plan that is put into place for Ty Leo, his sisters, and how he will conduct future streams. And then you are also going to be supportive of whatever happens to her, letting it be known that I Yeah, because at the end of the day, that's that's just like, that's something you can't even, and then to have your, your name be pre, um, to have your name be potentially jeopardized just because of somebody else, that, that that's, the, that's the best thing you can do. I ain't gonna lie. What the fuck did I put? Yeah, cause I ain't gonna lie. I'm not. Let me, let me let, let that some of that something like that happen to me. I'm going to feel some type. Of, that shit will be cut right there. But my sister's is older than me, and yeah, when shit, when certain shit like that come to content, I already you know tell them that they can't do certain stuff or I can't show. Turn stuff on. They they respect it all the way. So, yeah, that that that. Glad Talil did that. Distance myself from those actions. And whatever consequences that she brings on to herself is one thousand percent on her. That is a full on round of applause for Ty Lil in that situation. He goes on to double down in video response as well. Chat, word of my mother, I'm trying to literally ignore this shit, but I'm getting texts, the energy shifted, and niggas just got up and left. Like, older side of that shit really made me feel away. Because one, when people come, this is your crib. It's about hospitality. That means everything. Stop telling me to ignore because I was trying to ignore it. Y'all dick riders was spamming it. Even when I first thought of being like my first few celebrities, don't get me wrong, I do unusual shit. Like, nothing crazy. Like, I'd be like, yo, like, I'd be... Trying to record, get a video, a picture, whatever. But she never seen somebody that caliber, so she thought, you feel what I'm saying? And that's my sister, so like, I'm not gonna say nothing bad about it. I'm gonna just check and tell her, like, you don't gotta be on it. We all the same, we all human. If he's here for me, he's here for you. I got people telling me, you gotta be aware who you have around when these type of people come. Why should I? We all equal. You feel what I'm saying? It's gonna be, it's, we all got a mutual agreement and it's about respect. Yeah, just circling the block. And I wanna just emphasize here how much maturity that I've seen from Ty Lil. Knowing him from when I've known him, he's always seemed to be a stand up gentleman, even when I've first met him i mean just a great guy no glaze i'm being a thousand percent transparent and a lot of times on commentary channels or what i may do in my line of work it seems like it's just bashing after bashing after bashing but i've seen growth in recent time i'm going to highlight growth in recent time and i think it's worth pointing out that a lot of people had issues with what ty lil did in the past on a kai sinat stream that seemed to raise a lot of red flags they may have even had a conversation after that i do not know with i think that was the whole Lil yachty collective or whatever the case may be can i do a Slow-mo for you? Slow-mo. Here you go. Good luck! Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is your man? 
Wait, a lot of people had issues with that, but it looks like that didn't go to Ty Lil's head, and he really took that in and internalized possibly all the comments and commotion that were going on for that stream. But me personally, from my perspective, he's always seemed to be a stand-up guy, so this seemed right along the lines of who he is and his personality. What I do want to highlight, though, is the way that we talk about getting essayed as men. It seems that it's not taken very seriously. The way that Michael Rainey reacted is the way that a lot of people react when stuff like that happens. Terry Crews is a perfect example when he went to tell his story about what happened with him and all the ramifications and repercussions that happened to him. There were so many celebrities, there were so many comedians that joked and clowned Terry Crews, but what's happening is a real life thing. And the only thing that a man can do is just laugh and joke about it off. It's disgusting. Another thing that I do want to point out is the fact that we have kids in these streams where these things could happen. I don't think that Ty Lil cultivates or has an environment that's like that where things like that happen on the regular, but it just goes to show that we cannot have these kids on these platforms because the next thing you know, we're justifying Lil RT being on, slap a booty, pass around 20v1 videos. Look, I hope this doesn't touch any of Ty Lil's success. I think he's a very creative guy, especially the way that he responded to that. He's taking full accountability and we need to see more people take accountability just like that. But what I will say is because we're in an era where celebrities have to get on with these Twitch streamers, content creators who aren't trained, both parties are not being trained from a media perspective as to how to handle themselves. We could see more things just like this, but I think what it'll do is it'll ruin not only the environment, but the culture of going onto these platforms and being with the content creators boosting them and the celebrity boosting them. I hate to say that we won't see these great crossovers because I think they were having a good time and I think future endeavors will be very fruitful for both of these parties, celebrity and content creator. But if stuff like this happens where people aren't being able to read the room or people are just taking things way too far and being disgusting about this stuff, then I could totally see why people wouldn't want to do this anymore. But let me know what you guys think. Should there be some consequences? Or uh, I personally think that Whatever Michael Randy decides to do, he should, you know, do. And that Ty Lil, you know, going on, like he said, he'll make sure to ban her, you know, take a re take the right action. He did the right thing because at the end of the day, as a dude, you can't really do nothing about somebody else's actions but take accountability to, for what you should have, you know, prepared for. But, yeah, he did the right thing. Let's read these comments. Told my childhood homies. His sister's older than me was, but she was switching bro left at me and told me to get over it. And he was to say, we ain't homies. Oh my, shit like that. You swap the genders, people would take this way more serious. Oh, God. The fact that the little kids was right there, too, was disturbing. Oh, God. 100% agree you should press against her. What that woman did was disgusting. Oh, God. There's little girls in front of the room. Yeah, but we live in a society where double standards, niggas can't do that. Cause then, you know, they'll be like, "Oh, you don't, you don't like shit like that." And then double standards. If something like that to happen to females, man, the whole internet would be on that shit for days, weeks, months. But anyways, yeah, that's all I gotta say about it. It's your boy OGT Man signing out. Yeah, dig.